Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be an all signs reading. This will be for Aries all the way through Pisces. We're just going to get some current energy for you guys. Let's jump into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please protect me as I go with the new tarot. Give me clear on this message. For all signs, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Close our doors and negativity sneaks in. And all the ones I've called upon are welcome here. No weapon that's told me to get to shall prosper. Return to sender any and all negativity. I shall. Ancestors, please orchestrate this reading. Thank you, you guys, for clearing the senses. You guys, I've already done your April monthlies. Please stay tuned. Look out for those. You can follow me on my social media, book a personal reading with me. You can donate to the channel. There's a link in the description box if you'd like to donate. That would really help me. I'm not working currently. And you can book personal readings with me. Follow me on my social media. Okay. Let's jump into it. Okay. What's the current energy for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Aries. 11th house community. Okay, so who's the 11th house? All right, I'm not an astrologer, y'all. I, I just know Leo's the 5th house because I'm a Leo. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and then Aquarius is the 11th house. I should have known that because Pisces is the 12th house. So I didn't even have to do that. <laughs> So Aquarius is the eleventh house community. Ooh, okay. <laughs> you could be dealing with an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart. You could be surrounded by a lot of people, community, your family, friends, um, co-workers. Maybe if you don't have a partner, this is you could be in a fraternity, sorority, group organization, or this is. The current energy of you possibly wanting to get out there with and socialize with a bunch of other people or needing to get out there and socialize with a bunch of other people, okay? What about your person if you are dealing with anyone? Okay, Chiron, heal. So if you are dealing with someone, your person is trying to heal. Maybe this is a healing person. You two are collaborating and uh, working with each other if you don't have a person this is just um, external energy working with you for you and currently Aries okay all right so I'm gonna use these cards all right Aries what's the current energy Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, nice Venus, and not. No, you guys remember not every message will resonate. Not every card, not every storyline will resonate. Here you are, Page of Wands. Beautiful energy. Communi community, yeah. Um, communication as well. Good news. So, this Page of Wands could be travel as well. Messages, communication. Clarify the Page of Wands for Aries. Three of Cups community. That's what I keep saying. What do I keep saying? The cards is already saying it. Three of Cups. Okay, you're celebrating. You're out with friends. You're hearing good news. Um, messages could be from an earth sign, fire sign, or water sign. But Aquarius is here with the 11th house. So maybe the current energy is the 11th house energy. Community. Okay, you're hanging around friends, family, co-workers, having a good time. All right. Probably buying some drinks, buying food, eating, going out to dinner. Probably going to a bar, a restaurant. Aries, five of pentacles, because you haven't been feeling loved lately. And you want to heal. You want to be with people. You want to be with people you love people your your soul tribe your family people who understand you your people that's who you want to be around and maybe you feel like um you haven't been around them maybe you feel like you haven't found them yet nine of wands you feel guarded against certain people 
and you want to have a positive movement forward with good fortune but there whatever happened i don't know what this is i'm not really worrying about backstory i'm t just talking about the current energy but with the seven of swords any type of lying cheating betrayal sneaking or whatever may have caused you to feel guarded against these people or feel guarded um in general but i see you are wanting a breakthrough in love communication fun and passion and that's the current energy surrounding you. So be expecting that, Aries. All right, moving on to Taurus. All right, moving on to Taurus. Speaking of Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. And this says, cultivate. So cultivate some type of idea or plan, strategize. Okay. Taurus, what's the current energy surrounding you, Taurus? Pluto, rebirth. Could be dealing with the Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with the Scorpio. But there's a rebirth here, um, Taurus progressions journey you're going on a journey you're making progress you are your person then we have the ninth house exploration who's that sagittarius okay show me taurus's person who you are dealing with or will be dealing with this is just the current energy of your person taurus if you don't have a person this is just the current energy of your friend, co-worker, family member, or a situation you're going through. Leo, shine. So your person could be a Leo. They're shining right now. They're wanting to have the strength and the courage to shine. Your person or the situation. Okay, and then we have descendant, invitation. There's, there may be an invitation. You might be being invited to an event, a party. Hmm. or you're inviting someone but this is beautiful energy so you could be traveling during this time with progression and journey and there's a rebirth here with pluto scorpio energy could be a rebirth in love to a cup all right it's the current energy for taurus taurus whoa the two of cups keeps wanting to come out what's the current energy for taurus the magician could be dealing with the gemini okay the devil card could be dealing with the capricorn are you trying to manifest this end or manifest this new beginning well where are you going about doing it strength could definitely be dealing with the leo but we already have three majors coming out and only three out of three. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Swords is here. Clarify the Magician, the Taurus. Eight of Pentacles, you're manifesting some type of money and, and you're manifesting stability. This is, the Pentacles represent time, effort, energy, attention. And so does the Magician. He puts in time, effort, energy. You know, what, um, what intentions do you have? Your intentions are for stability. Clarify the devil. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Five of Wands. There's some friction, some tension. Ace of Swords. Clarify the devil and the Five of Wands. The star. Could be with an Aquarius or wanting to heal something. Clarify the devil, Five of Wands, and the star. Judgment. There's the decision. So any type of negativity, going back and forth, arguing, it's like it's gonna, there's going to be some type of reset with the star and judgment. Something's going to change in your mind, this journey and this rebirth, ending the toxicity, letting it go and progressing, moving on from it and learning from it. You're not going back. Clarify strength. The hangman. Sacrifice. Clarify strength. The five of swords. Yeah. You're in your head about something, someone. Clarify strength, the hangman, and the five of swords. 
page of cups you have some type of feelings or emotions for someone that you haven't seen in a while you're distant from them and then yet here they go here they come clarify the ten of pentacles the three of swords there was an ending a breakup ten of cups right here somebody you had a family with or someone you lived with or someone you were in a long committed relationship with the fool taking a new leap of faith forward so we see Leo twice. We have Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Pisces. But I see on this journey, here's journey coming out again. Um, there's just endings and rebirth. I just see once one cycle is over, something new is coming in. That's the current energy. Right now, it seems like you're at the end of this cycle, but right after this ending is something new you're going to progress it's going to be a new journey and i feel like you're realizing this about your life your life has been going in cycles all right gemini you could be dealing with the leo gemini What's the current energy surrounding Gemini? Mercury messages. So you're receiving messages. Gemini, is that your is that your planet? It, your planet, I think your planet is. Mercury, it's not Mars because Mars is Aries. I think that's your planet. But um, then we have Neptune, vision. This is Pisces energy. So messages and vision. So what I'm seeing is you're getting a message. You're having a vision, a dream, um, some type of like foresight, a premonition type. So the current energy is you're receiving downloads you're receiving messages from spirit you're getting this gut feeling you're, you're using your intuition you just have this inner knowing gemini you're receiving vision so may, maybe you have the gift of foresight you can see the future tell me about gemini's person if you're dealing with someone the person you're currently dealing with or will soon to be dealing with if you're single this is just um the situation or energy surrounding you okay Tell me about Gemini's person. Third house, communication. Gemini. This is your energy, communication. So you're showing up in your read every single time. So you could be dealing with the Gemini, but this is all about you because I think Mercury is your planet. And then you're the third house, Gemini. The current energy is you. Invitation, yeah. Watch your um April monthly because it's I think I titled it. I was like, this is just the beginning, Gemini. Introducing Gemini 2.0. Okay. So I see you guys are getting the new gear, getting a new body, getting a new mind, a new spirit, just a new way of living, new way of thinking. All of these messages, it's like Spirit is giving you a blueprint. Like you have a direct source. You're getting direct line of messages. Or maybe this is just you're receiving messages from people, jobs, family, friends. Or you're the one giving the messages. And this could be verbal messages, um, text messages, internet messages, or um, cause there, or nonverbal communication as well. All right, what's the current energy for... I was going to say uh, Virgo, uh, Gemini, Five of Wands. Okay, and then, wow, the Five of Swords, Five of Pentacles. What is this? A lot of fives, a lot of change. This Mercury energy, it may be kicking your ass right now, but please watch the way you communicate. Remember I said verbal and nonverbal communication. So watch the way you communicate during this time. Because your messages may get misconstrued.
seven of cups a lot of confusion yeah a lot of confusion slow down i see that you could be waiting on a message as well and it's been delayed or slowed down it's the retrograde coming up like what the fuck is going on clarify the five of wands for gemini ten of wands damn something is we go from the five to the ten the five of wands was already hard enough but ten of wands this is like, it's too burdensome. You might have to let something go. Clarify the five of swords. The ace of swords. At least there's a breakthrough in your mind. Um, the way you speak, the way you perceive things with clarity could be dealing with the Leo. So I get this new beginning and then um, a Taurus or Libra with the Hierophant. This new beginning or these messages or this child, it might have you... In a fucked up energy. Why is Gemini in this fucked up energy? Over in Aries, the Emperor. Maybe because you're being stubborn, you're not seeing things from a different perspective. The way you're communicating with people or the way people are communicating with you. Maybe it's rubbing you the wrong way or you're rubbing other people the wrong way. But you don't mean to. Alright, clarify the Five of Pentacles. Okay, the world. Good, good, good. You won't be feeling this way for too long. Six of Cups. It's gonna be you're gonna be happy again soon. We got the Ten of Swords though. What is this ending? In regard to love. Clarify the seven of cups. The tower could be done with the Scorpio. And then the three of swords. So I'm, I'm just seeing that there's a really big change when there, currently you're going through a really big change and it don't feel good. I'm not even going to tell you that it's all sweet and shit. It don't, it don't feel good. It don't look good either. You had three fives come out and then the seven of cups, a lot of confusion. Okay. Just slow down. Things may be slow during this time. If not, just slow down with communication. Make sure you're understanding what people are saying. Make sure people are understanding what you're saying. But if you just can't come to an agreement on what's going on and what's being done, just say less. Just don't talk. Just don't. Just don't talk. Just say less. Because you continuously trying to talk about it and fix it. If I feel like it's just making it worse. Clarify the sun and the hair fence and the tower. The Wheel of Fortune, it won't last too long. It's gonna actually, um, it's gonna pass over quicker than you think. All right, Cancer. Cancer. What's the current energy surrounding Cancer? second sign i forgot to see about first it's fine i'll try to remember for the rest of the signs if i don't i don't come on cancer what is the current energy surrounding cancer cancer first house arrival if we dealing with an aries it is very season, isn't it? The first house. And then the 10th house, authority. 10th house is Capricorn. Okay, tell me about um, Cancer's person. Tell me about Cancer's person. If you don't have a person, this is just the energy surrounding you or the situation you could be going through. Or your friend, family member, whatever. All right, tell me about Cancer's person, please. Tenth house still came out. Authority could be dealing with the Capricorn. Solar flares, activate. So something could be activating, but we have solar flares. Okay, Cancer. First house, arrival. So here comes the arrival of someone, something, or an experience or situation. Here's the King of Wands right here, that Aries. Your person, the 10th house, which is Capricorn. 
authority. So there's an authoritative figure. It could be this Aries, the emperor. All right, what's the current energy surrounding cancer? If it's not an Aries, it could be a boss, a husband, um, a leader. You got the four of swords wanting to come out. You're resting, planning, strategizing. You could even be avoiding someone. What's the current energy surrounding cancer? Seven of cups. You're avoiding making a decision. Maybe you have to really sit and think about this decision because it has something to do with your stability and it has something to do with what is right and what is fair and what is just. Also, it has something to do with your happiness. Okay? Clarify the Four of Swords for Cancer. Judgment. A big decision. And you may be confused with the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups. death something ended you may want you may want something to start up again because we have the ending start up again cards right here judgment and death okay clarify the nine of pentacles the sun could be dealing with the leo sagittarius scorpio libra clarify justice The Queen of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Page of Wands. So what I'm seeing is here comes the arrival of a new person. Um, I do see them being a love interest of yours, but you are um, stuck in your head about it. I don't know why. Maybe you got used to being single with the Nine of Pentacles. And it's like, okay, what's the best? thing for me to do for myself because the queen of cups is a self-love type card this is self okay what way can i love myself in this situation that will be fair and beneficial and you know right all right clarify the seven of cups and the death card six of swords you could be moving traveling clarify the seven of cups ten of pentacles this is somebody you could be married to or you want to marry. It could be a Sagittarius. You're trying to take your time with them because it's like you've been single for so long, but I think this person wants marriage. And here's the arrival of this marriage pregnancy with the sun card. Um, here comes the arrival of just a brand new life for you. Your life won't be the same with this person, with this job, with this um, situation or this family dynamic. Tell me more about, yeah, authority. So you're becoming a wife, a boss, a mom, or a dad. You're become, you're moving to the next level in your career as well. You're become, becoming a manager. All right, Cancer, tell me more about your person. 10th house, authority, authority. Tell me more about your person. Tell me more about Cancer's person. 10th house. debilitated discomfort so maybe you don't like having so much um responsibilities or authority maybe you want more authority clarify debilitated discomfort mercury messages yeah you don't like having to be the one to be the bearer of bad news like since you're the leader this person um i'll say it's your person it could be you or it could be a family member or just the situation that you're in but this person, um, they're a softie. And what they're learning how to do is speak with more authority, behave with more authority, and just get the job done and not tiptoeing around people's feelings and just being straightforward. That's all it is, okay? All right. Moving on, Leo. Leo. The current energy surrounding Leo. Leo. What's the current energy surrounding Leo? 
current energy for Leo. Okay. Transits, climate. So there's some transits changing, uh, climate changes, things like that. So I hear you be getting a temperature check. How do you feel right now? Are you feeling hot? Are you feeling cold? Are you feeling moody? Are you at peace? Are you happy? Are you sad? Okay. Transits. You've been going through a lot of different transits, a lot of different emotional phases right now, Leo. Okay. Here you, you, here you are coming out, though, with the sun. All right. Tell me about Leo's person. Tell me about Leo's person. If Leo, if you're single, this is just um, the energy of the situation that you may be going through. Or um, I could be pulling energy from your family member, co-worker, friend, whoever. But tell me about Leo's person, please. Trine, sextile, symbiosis. Okay. Symbiosis. This is just basically... What I'm getting is this person is very adaptable, can change, can transform, can merge, can um, separate, all of that. This is a coming together, combining type energy. Symbiosis. Okay. What's the current energy surrounding Leo? Maybe this is uh, this person, the symbiosis is telling you, Leo, be a little more fluid be a little more um, mutable, that's changeable, adaptable. Yeah, and then here's transits. You're going through a lot of different transits, a lot of different changes, a lot of different um, phases. Like you may feel 10 different ways within 30 minutes, okay? What's the current energy for Leo? So you could be dealing with the water sign Current energy for Leo. Six of Wands, victory and success. Ace of Swords, clarity, communication. The Emperor, an Aries, a boss, a leader. The Moon, intuition. Could be perception, deception, fears. Clarify the Six of Wands for Leo. Ten of Cups, happiness. The family's good. You want the family to be good. Maybe you have a lot of responsibilities. A lot of things are changing. Nothing ever stays the same. And it's like Leo is um, just busy from all the roller coaster of changes. Okay. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Three of Cups. Happiness. Getting together. I'm getting a family type of energy. So maybe if the family wasn't good... Um, you will be on good terms with the family again or this person wants to be on good terms with you and the family with the symbiosis they want to work with you even though you may be having mood swings leo this person is trying to work with you clarify the emperor six of swords yeah trying to steer the ship but not so um, controllingly, trying to steer the ship in a more logical, lovingly way. We got the Three of Swords, some type of heartache. Clarify the Emperor and the Six of Swords. The Knight of Wands. I'm getting an energy, a masculine energy. Uh, could be an Aries, Sagittarius. I feel like this person may like you and they see that you might need some help. This person will try to help you, but not from a, hey, Leo, you need help type energy. Just a, I love Leo, so I'm going to help type energy. Clarify the moon. Clarify the moon. Two of Pentacles, juggling. Five of Pentacles, not feeling love. Clarify the moon. Yeah, you're moody and depressed, Leo. Clarify the moon. Queen of Wands. Okay, you could possibly be on your cycle, Leo. And, um... Clarify the Queen of Wands. 
king of cups yeah you're just moody right now you could be on your cycle right now or you're just going through some type of weird phase i don't know what this is but um for some reason now is a moody time people are getting on your nerves you're agitated uh easily leo very easily agitated and aggravated but um even still i see people are still wanting to love you and adore you with the six of wands especially your family all right virgo speaking of virgo here you are the hermit virgo what's the current energy surrounding virgo what's the current energy surrounding virgo virgo eighth house mystery could be dealing with a scorpio then we have the ninth house, Exploration, Sagittarius. So Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp, you can have either of those in your chart. Tell me about Virgo's person. Tell me about Virgo's person, please. Who they are dealing with or will soon be dealing with. moon perception could be dealing with a cancer or a pisces some very mysterious and perceptive so this you could be mysterious virgo and your person is very perceptive so that means you can't pull the wool over this person's eyes they're very perceptive so even if you do try to be mysterious and try to cover things up this person is a pisces like they just know intuitively anyway perception the moon card Tell me about the current energy surrounding Virgo. So things could be a mystery to you, Virgo, or you're trying to be mysterious. Maybe you feel like this person is mysterious because they're so pers perspective. I'm sorry, perceptive. Both of them work for me. Okay, Virgo. Eight of Cups. Okay, maybe you tried to create distance with this person. This is your energy, the King of Pentacles. You tried to create distance with this person. I feel like you were pulling that distance makes the heart grow fonder type shit. And this, I don't think this person's falling for the bait. But what's the current energy surrounding Virgo? The Emperor, yeah. Could be dealing with an Aries. Distance makes the heart grow fonder. I, I think you might be um, worrying if your plan is working. Okay, tell me about Virgo's person, moon, perception. The Hierophant, they know. This person, is, this person is intuitive and highly loved by spirit. They're a Pisces. We got the Ten of Cups. I don't think this is working with the, for this person because they're happy regardless of how distant you try to get. Um, they have other things that make them happy besides you. King of Cups and they love themselves. A lot of self-love. They have the King of Cups while you have the Five of Swords. Okay. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Virgo. Six of Pentacles. Maybe you feel like this person is distant and that they're breadcrumbing you. And you're wondering why. It's a mystery of why. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Heartbroken. Five of Pentacles. Not feeling good enough. Feeling left out in the cold. So you created distance with this person. Or you're feeling like you and this person are distant clarify the emperor but you're not trying to show how hurt you are we got the um queen of pentacles here's the king and queen of pentacles this is a divine match so maybe this is your husband or your wife your soulmate your spouse your baby mom or baby dad i'm getting another storyline for those of you single virgos 
Your love life is a mystery because it's like, when the fuck is my person coming in? I can feel their energy. The king and queen of pentacles came out, so that's a match. So it's like, so if a pair is coming out, then why am I still single? All right. Clarify the emperor. Seven of pentacles. Why am I still having to wait and all this extra shit? All right. Clarify the hair fit for your person. The hair fit. The moon. They're Pisces or Cancer. Ace of Wands. They're beautiful, passionate. Um, Y'all probably did have sex and it's amazing. Okay, could be a Scorpio with the death card. So I see that it's easy for this person to end things. It's easy for this person to detach. It's easy for this person to let things go. And that's a big mystery for you on how or why. Clarify the fool. Yeah, the world card. I don't need to clarify anymore. This part, It's easy for this person to let go. Be distant. Move on. Travel. It's easy for this person to never look back again. Okay. Because this person has a sense of like self love, self worth, self like just a sense of self, me, myself, and I type energy. All right. So the current energy surrounding you is there's probably a person or a situation that is teaching you um, a different way of doing things, a different way of thinking. A different perspective on possibly how to solve a problem because something was a mystery to you so a mystery could be a problem something that needs to be solved and here it is this perception somebody's coming in and showing you tell me about Virgo's person tell me more about Virgo's person Jupiter abundance yeah this person has their own abundance I don't see that this person has a need or want for anything or anyone and I feel like this is um your person has reached some type of like nirvana type shit like they don't have a want or need for anything and I think that's why it's so easy for them to just do them it's easy for them to detach it's easy for them to not be so oh, um worried about people coming in and going out of their life all right we have retrograde review this card came out in your april monthly anyway so be sure to check that out a lot of things could be under review for you virgo moving on to libra libra what's the current energy surrounding you libra what's the current energy surrounding libra mercury we have messages Gemini just got this card. Then we have Pisces, sensitized. Be a little more sensitive. Okay, maybe someone might be sensitive during this time. So please reread your messages. And, um, yeah. Tell me about Libra's person. Dignified strength. Could be dealing with someone very dignified, someone who is strong, someone who has a lot of, um, self-worth like their image they have their presence their dignity they are a very dignified type of person the way that they dress um the people they hang around with i'm getting a holier than thou but not talking shit like that's on like that's the thing the way i can explain it holier than thou like just a very regal regal royal person strength could be a leo Then we have Mercury messages. Mercury is Gemini, I believe. So maybe you're talking to a Gemini or a Leo. But you want to get some messages out or someone is sending you messages. Your person, digni very dignified, a lot of strength. So I see if you are trying to fuck with this person or if anybody's trying to fuck with this person and uh, press this person's buttons, it's not going to work. They're very dignified and they have a lot of strength. And if you don't have a person, if this isn't your person, this could just be um, the energy of the situation you're dealing with, a friend, family member, or coworker. All right, what's the current energy surrounding Libra? The moon could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. 
seven of swords some lying cheating uh avoiding as well you're avoiding sending this message the knight of pentacles yeah you're just gonna wait take your time you're gonna stall five of uh, pentacles you're gonna stall this message page of pentacles this love message okay knight of cups king of cups there's a love message that's pending for some reason it either got lost never sent never delivered for some reason what's the current energy surrounding libra ten of swords you're heartbroken about something and you need to rest that's why you're not sending this message yet you're just um wanting things to change be different clarify the moon Six of Cups. You and a Cancer or Pisces are soulmates. You have children with this person. Clarify the Moon and the Six of Cups. Five of Cups. You're not showing this person that you do want to reconcile. You're sad and you're um, drunk in love and you're reminiscing on memories. You're watching old videos. You're listening to old music and you're reading old messages. You miss this person. You love this person. Now, this could be someone that you that has passed away and that um, you lost. So, I send my condolences. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Three of Cups. You don't want to be around anyone who reminds you of this person. You don't want to be around them. You want to avoid them. Clarify death. Uh, the Hangman. Yeah. When am I going to get out of this? I'm getting that you, for some reason, you are keeping yourself stuck in this. I don't know why. The devil. Yeah, you're stuck in it. It's toxic, though. Mm. How can Libra get out of this energy? Queen of Pentacles. Uh, focus on other things. Build your self-worth, your self-esteem. Take care of yourself. Take care of the things you need to take care of, Libra. But I'm just seeing um, maybe somebody is sending you a message asking you, are you okay? Maybe you're just avoiding the pain, avoiding the people who've caused the pain, avoiding the people who you, who remind you of um, the person that you're missing. person moon per perception yeah it could be a cancer or a pisces we keep getting that perception this person is very perceptive so they were dignified and had strength and they're, they're, they're perceptive as well. So I feel like this person this person might be helping you within this discomfort that you're feeling. Debilitated. Helping you like get out of whatever funk you're in with journey. Hey, come on. Let's get out the house. Let's go do something or anything like that. Here you are, Libra, needing to get balance. Yeah, I feel like this person can see through your act. So if you're going through a mini state of depression, I feel like um, if you're trying to keep it a secret, this person knows. They know. They're not dumb. You can't hide anything from them. Um, Scorpio. What's the current energy surrounding Scorpio? Debilitated discomfort. It just came out. So you could be Libra Scorpio cusp. 
So you're feeling uncomfortable, Scorpio. You're feeling debilitated. Just a little uncomfortable. Tell me about Scorpio's person. Journey and progressions that just came out for Libra. Scorpio just watched the Libra portion too. So even though you may be feeling debilitated and a little uncomfortable, look at all these stairs. There's a way, there's a bunch of different routes that you can take. Okay. You don't have to stay in the energy you're in. You can change. Make some progress. Go on a journey. All right. So let's see. It's the current energy surrounding Scorpio. Three of Pentacles. So you're wanting to work together with someone, collaborate, just make things balanced. Okay, make things peaceful again instead of being uncomfortable. We got the Hierophant and then we have the Empress. Yeah, so if you are dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or a pregnant lady, it's just been a little um, hormonal lately. Four of Wands, this relationship between you and another person, this relationship between you and spirit, this relationship between you and your family. Um... It's going to start working. It's going to start working with the Three of Pentacles. Just have patience. And that there are some things that you may need to pray about and give to God and give to Spirit. And make sure you hold your values and your self-worth and, and your boundaries. And things will be, things will be copacetic. You may be uncomfortable right now, but I don't see that it's anything that you can't get through. Yeah, seven of wands. You can definitely get through this. Keep your boundaries high. And that's okay to have boundaries. Three of cups. Yeah, again, have your boundaries with your friends, family member, co-workers, lovers. Queen of wands. So you're feeling very beautiful, very passionate, very fiery. Clarify the queen of wands. I feel like you're saying something. Clarify the queen of wands. Strength. You could be dealing with the Leo. Yeah. Keep that fiery passion about you. Don't get complacent. If you're uncomfortable, then work some things out and work it out in your favor to make it as comfortable as possible for you until you are able to make this progress and move forward. I feel like you, a lot of you are pregnant and going through the nine month phase. Okay. Not everybody's pregnant, but there's some type of growing pains that you're going through but it's beautiful we got the temperance hierophant empress and strength with the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the day it, it it's progressing um progress may not be comfortable success is not always comfortable either but i see there's going to be a reason to celebrate a job a relationship or just good news. A move to a new home. All right. So you won't be too uncomfortable too long. Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Leo Sag. All right, Sagittarius. fifth house passion yeah leo rules the fifth house and i said you could be dealing with the leo passion so you're very passionate about this person this person has ignited a very creative part of you so i feel like 
And then since it has flowers, flowers need to be planted, taken care of, nurtured, and grown to bloom. So I feel like a lot of time is going to be put in into a create a creative project. A lot of time and effort is going to be put in into a relationship or your job. And then we have fourth house, the home. A lot of time and energy is going to be put into your home situation, you know, your stability, the people who you hang around with on a daily basis, the people who you care about. Okay. Tell me more about Sagittarius, this person. Tell me about Sagittarius, this person, please. Venus, beloved. Oh, yes, Sag. Venus is Libra, I believe. Beloved. Yes, this person loves you. You are their beloved. They are your beloved. Beautiful. Then we have the seventh house, relationship. The seventh house is Libra. The seventh house is Libra. I just said that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> we have Venus, which is Libra, and then the seventh house, which is Libra. Relationship. So this person definitely wants to be in a relationship with you. You want to be in a relationship with them. They're all about structure. It's the Libra, the Hierophant. They're all about structure, tradition, things like that. But I see like you're showing this person um, how to paint their own canvas or this is what they're doing. They're showing you how to be creative, paint your own canvas. What structure do you use when you're creating a big project, when you're birthing an idea and things like that? This person has honestly brought you back to life, your dreams and creativity with passion. All right. What's the current energy surrounding Sagittarius? Ten of Swords. Ooh, an ending of breakup. What was that? That's why the um, current energy. You're dealing with the Leo, like I said. The Sun card is out. So I feel like this person completely wiped away all of this hurt and pain and your tears. You're completely gone. Dealing with this person, you never you you forgot you were even hurt in the first place. This person gives you a sense of stability authority as well this person is like has high boundaries which you really like you like how authoritative and take charge and in control this person is or they like this about you you're dealing with the leo or an aries but a lot of fire energy a lot of passion okay the way that this person speaks they speak with passion they move you whenever they talk to you about their dreams and their goals or how they did this or how they did that Got the Eight of Pentacles. You could have met this person during work or you want to work together with this person. You possibly might want to share finances or assets with this person or just spend more time with them. Two of Cups. This is a relationship that you want. Relationship keeps coming out. What's the current energy surrounding Sagittarius? The Page of Swords. You're interested in them. They're interested in you. Page of Wands. A lot of messages and you two will be traveling together to see each other. You two may, be, may even be going out of town together with the full card. Beautiful energy, Sag. Knight of Swords. You like talking to this person. We got the Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands. It's a Leo. A lot of fire, but if you're dealing with another fire sign, you might need to cool the fire down. Nine of Wands. Don't forget to bring some love into the situation. Page of Cups. They're your wish fulfillment. You think about this person constantly. You want to take your time and really um, build a solid foundation with this person because in the past... You, um, in the past, things didn't go right. You feel like you may have chose the wrong path. But now I feel like you're getting another opportunity to do it with someone, someone new. Someone who basically just brings your passion back to life. Ace of Wands. It's all about passion. Passion with you, Sagittarius. It's beautiful energy. The Two of Cups is a relationship. And then the Emperor came out, your Divine Masculine. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. So you must be the happiest sign out of all of the zodiac because <laughs> Ooh, you got passion, beloved, and relationship. All right. Capricorn. Capricorn. 
What's the current energy surrounding Capricorn? It's hot in here. Clarify. Not clarify. <laughs> Tell me the current energy surrounding Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn. 10th house authority. This is your card. You rule the 10th house authority. And then Aquarius, collaborate. So you have the authority. You want people to collaborate. You want people to come together and be able to just collaborate, work together. 10th house. This is you. You're in your element. All right, tell me about Capricorn's person. Could be dealing with an Aries. Act. They want to act upon something. Capricorn, achieve. So we got, you're just coming out over and over again. So this person might have Capricorn in their chart. This Aries might have Capricorn in their chart. It is Aries season, so they're trying to act. See how Aries is the number one. Capricorn is the number 10, but 10 breaks down to a one anyway. So, duality. This person is you. You are this person. Authority. I feel like... Excuse me, sorry. I feel like it finally... Um, accepting your your authority you're not being humble you're not like downing yourself you're not um downplaying how much pressure you have capricorn you you come with the shit capricorn is a force to be reckoned with and you're finally saying yeah you know what that's fucking right i am a force to be reckoned with i i you know i'm the one of high authority and shit like that You've been trying to tiptoe so you don't hurt nobody's feelings or come off an asshole, but shit, fuck it. Uh, my name is Capricorn. I'm, I run all this shit, basically. All right, what's the current energy surrounding you, Capricorn? The Hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo and have Virgo in your chart. The Hierophant. You're thinking about something, a Taurus, Libra, or Virgo. You're making some type of decision. You're going about it a certain type of way with morals and traditions five of swords you feel like you may have been self-sabotaging yourself by being so shy and kind because the hermit is like a shy kind quiet type energy and it's like nah i'm not doing that shit no more that shit don't get me nowhere it don't get me nowhere fuck these people okay all right it's the current energy surrounding capricorn eight of pentacles time to act Take action. What makes me happy? Okay. Time to put in some hard work. Strength. Yeah, you got the yeah, you got the strength. You got the sauce, Capricorn. That's the current energy surrounding you where spirit is trying to get you to learn and know and walk accordingly to having the sauce. What does having the sauce look like, Capricorn? Ten of Wands. Clarify the and then the Eight of Swords. And the devil card. Here you are, Capricorn, coming out. Now, this right here don't really look like you have the sauce. It looks like uh, you ain't tapped in into your devil gifts yet. Okay? For some reason, there's just a, a lot of, like, confusion, not really knowing what the hell is going on, and then making yourself go through shit that you really ain't really need to make yourself go through. You're making it harder than what it is, Capricorn. Or maybe some you're doing this to someone, someone is doing this to you. Making it harder than what it has to be. Then we got the five of cups. Now you're sad about it, or this person is sad about it. Ace of Pentacles, you want a new start? Can I have a do-over with the <laughs> page of wands? I want a do-over. I want to create a new version of myself. The Emperor. There's that authority right here. And then we have Aries coming out twice. Act. 
You came out twice and Aries came out twice. The Emperor, which is Aries. Then we have Aries, which is act, time to take some action. Then we have Capricorn and the Devil card. Achieve. What are you trying to achieve? This authority or this um, level of success. Okay, because the 10th house represents Capricorn as well. So... I just feel like you're just settling into your energy, Capricorn. You're supposed to be the boss, to be honest. And I'm not tooting your own horn, but get with the program. Shit. All right, Aquarius. What's the current energy surrounding Aquarius? Aquarius. What is the current energy surrounding Aquarius? Okay. What's the current energy surrounding Aquarius? Seventh house relationship could be dealing with the Libra. Okay, you want a relationship as well, Mars motion. You want to put these things into motion. You see how that sword kind of looked like a zip? All right, sorry. So, <laughs> tell me about Aquarius's person, the person they're currently dealing with or soon to be dealing with. Tell me about Aquarius's person. Okay, Midhaven, the pinnacle, the um. Up, leading up until this point everything that you've done been through all of this has led up to this point right here the cu the culmination of events okay tell me more about Aquarius's person opposition confrontation what the fuck I think this exact same message came out in your monthly reading What's the current energy surrounding Aquarius? Your relationships with people. Could be dealing with the Taurus or Libra with the Empress card. All right. So your relationships, you want them to grow, expand. You want them to actually lead somewhere. You want them to be beneficial. But for some reason, there's a lot of change or endings when it comes to this. Because you get in your moods where you don't want to talk to nobody with the hermit card. I feel like you may be not feeling, you feel misunderstood. The emperor. Well, here's the emperor and the empress right here. Here's your relationship. And isn't Mars Aries energy? Yeah, there it is right there. Like, what the fuck? Damn. I just got deja vu. I just got deja vu. Okay. Sorry, let me come back. What's the current energy surrounding Aquarius? Ooh, thank you for money, Lord. All right. Seven of Wands. You're fighting for someone, fighting against someone. Seven of Pentacles. Seven, seven. What's the current energy surrounding Aquarius? The Knight of Cups. It's like uh, Aquarius, I feel like for some reason you may have the best and purest intentions for someone and you love them and you want to be in a relationship with someone. But it's just so much opposition. Look at the Seven of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. This is an opposition and confrontation right here. Seven of Wands is kind of a confrontational um card, energy to be in. I feel I'm feeling the my way or the highway type energy. Two of Cups. Here's the relationship. So what's what's the confrontation for? I'm I'm not understanding. Someone's not being open and honest. There's still heartbreak here. There's still disagreements. 
Eight of Pentacles. One person is putting in more than the other. Like, I'm not understanding. Five of Pentacles. So is this just an act? Is this just a show? Like, Aquarius, what 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 is going on? I hear it. Are we doing this or are we not? Are we doing this or not? Okay, that's what I hear. Alright. What's this opposition for Aquarius? Are we taking this offer or not? What's this opposition for Aquarius? The Four of Swords. We saw the Four of Cups. Now we see the Four of Swords and then the Two of Swords. Mm, are we doing this or not? Will I or won't I? What will I choose? Like, what the fuck, Aquarius? Like, damn. Why is all this extra stuff getting in between this? Or maybe Aquarius is person. What the fuck? Some type of opposition or confrontation what's the confrontation for and why i feel like this is an internal thing aquarius two of pentacles there's the confrontation right there you see that juggling not being able to make up your mind you see these two things right there is there's the two of pentacles right there that's what it is tell me more about aquarius's person dignified strength so this person is this person why are they holding back so bad like i don't know this mm -mm. you be dealing with an aries or a libra but aquarius what i'm getting is aquarius you get with somebody who you are compatible with this ain't compatible energy but for some reason those are the types you like i don't know why aquarius they just do it for you um but yeah Pisces. What's the current energy surrounding Pisces? What's the current energy surrounding Pisces? Capricorn. You have Capricorn in your chart. Achieve. You're trying to achieve something. You're trying to achieve some type of relationship. Okay. You want some type of communication with someone as well. Tell me about Pisces person who they are currently dealing with or will be dealing with. Tell me about Pisces person, please. Second house, Aries, Taurus. It's a Taurus, resources. Second house, Taurus. Okay. Then we have square, semi-square, quincunks. Whatever that says, tension, some type of tension. So some, so maybe you two are just rubbing each other the wrong way. But if there is any tension in between you two, I feel like you'll be able to work through it with this Capricorn energy. Achieve, you'll be able to work through it because this person with their second house energy resources, um. This person is going to do what they need to do to make themselves and you comfortable. But if you both have earth in your chart, that's what's going on. You're both stubborn. All right, Pisces. I saw the king and the queen of wands. I already saw a match. So, yeah. What's the current energy surrounding Pisces? The Nine of Swords. Whew, what is going on? Sadness, depression, anxiety, overthinking. Maybe you're um, overthinking really, really hard on how to achieve this goal, the star. You really want this to happen. This will be your wish fulfillment if it did. Or you really want this person or relationship or job. What's the um, current energy surrounding Pisces? Knight of Pentacles is just going really slow. We got the Emperor right here. The Emperor has been coming out for all of y'all. It is Aries season. I think that's why. 
for the current energy surrounding Pisces. The Eight of Wands, travel and communication. We have the Five of Cups, feeling sad because something is ended, something is over. But it was toxic anyway, and you couldn't make up your mind about it. It was confusing you, and it wasn't fair, it wasn't just. Now, now that it's over, it's fair and it's just, and your, your will is turning positively in a new direction, taking a leap of faith somewhere. Okay, right. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Queen of Wands, Page of Cups. You really, really, really like this person and you probably really, really, really want to have sex with them or vice versa. Clarify the Star. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to go out with this person. I feel like you want to have a date as well. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Dang, I just saw the King of Cups too. I should have pulled them out. But yeah, um, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands. I feel like you're driving someone crazy about how much self-love you have. It just makes you even more attractive and even more beautiful. Clarify the devil. Three of Swords. Could have been multiple people involved. I feel like you got out of a tough situation. You got out of a job. You got out of something that was toxic and holding you back and holding you down. Yeah, that cycle is over. You you have already achieved. You've already went through... Um, what is it called? The valley and the... Um, you are already at, down there. You're going up here now. You're going up. That's all. That's basically what I see. You've elevated, and I see you maybe um experiencing some melancholy. It's probably bittersweet, but your will is turning. Have some fun. This is all I have for you, Pisces. I see uh sex in your future as well. If you ain't already doing that, but I love y'all. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me. Until I see you all again, check out all of your April monthlies. Check out all of your all signs readings. Your weeklies will be by Element. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation. Check the description box. There's a link to donate as well in the description box. I love you all, and y'all be safe. Bye bye.